Now that we've discussed the gastric sleeve and the gastric bypass, we want you to be informed about how to make a choice between these operations. We believe that patients definitely do better if they have an active part to play in the decision about which surgery they're going to have done. For the most part, and for most people, we've got two good choices. We've got the gastric bypass, we've got the gastric sleeve. They're both very favorable options that have excellent outcomes, but there are some differences between them. So first of all, the similarities. Both the gastric bypass and the gastric sleeve are done laparoscopically. That means several little incisions and the TV camera. That's also called minimally invasive. Both of these operations typically require one night in the hospital, sometimes two or three, depending on your existing medical conditions, but mostly back out of the hospital after one night. Once people leave the hospital, they're typically able to go back to work in one or two weeks with both of the operations. Now thinking about differences between the procedures. The big difference between the operations is diabetes. And here's where the metabolic impact of gastric bypass turns out to be a bit more profound or a bit more powerful than for the sleeve. So many of our patients are diabetic, and that's why this is an important question here in San Antonio. About 40% of the people for whom we do surgery have diabetes going into surgery. And we like the gastric bypass a bit better because, as you can see, the gastric bypass has about an 84% remission rate after surgery. Remission, in our book, it means that you have a normal blood sugar off of medications. And guess what? If you have a gastric bypass, the chances are you're going to go home two days or three days after surgery, and you're going to be off meds with a normal sugar for many, many years to come, which is just outstanding. The sleeve is not bad for diabetes. The remission rate is about 45% after the sleeve. And so if you come to me and you say, Dr. Pilcher, you know, I listened to your talk and I understand how the gastric bypass is really the better operation for diabetes, but I'm a little bit worried about that intestinal rerouting. I'll say, okay, well, I'd much rather you have the sleeve than to go on with your medications and your gradually increasing weight and your diabetic problems. So the sleeve is still open to you, but we do want to think more with diabetes about the gastric bypass. Now, the next medical condition that is different between the operations is reflux. Reflux is the medical name for when acid comes back up the esophagus. Many people have a little bit of indigestion from time to time, and that's not really what we're concerned with here. But if you have awful reflux, where the acid comes back up out of your nose when you cough or sneeze, some people have that, then we want to think a little bit more about the gastric bypass. And the difference is that the gastric bypass, when we cut across the stomach, we actually separate that lower acid producing area from the esophagus where it causes damage versus the sleeve where fluid and foods can go down, fluid and foods also can go back up. So the sleeve is not harmful for reflux, but it's not actively helpful. Once again, if reflux is a big feature for you, we want to lean a bit towards the gastric bypass. And then last of all, in terms of differences, there is a difference in terms of average weight loss for the gastric bypass versus the sleeve. There is some advantage towards the gastric bypass with better weight loss. For most of our patients, that's not a huge difference, and most patients feel much better, have better energy, and better health with both operations. It does start to seem to be the case that our female patients are losing less weight with a sleeve than they do with a gastric bypass, whereas men do great with both operations. Ladies, go figure.